Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy. Here we talk about all things fragrances. I love sharing and connecting with you guys through my olfactive journey or just by anything that makes my heart happy. So if that sounds like the type of content you are enjoying, please consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my videos. Today, we're gonna do another one fragrance full in-depth review video. And this is actually requested by one of you guys. So thank you so much for comments and leaving your request on my channel because it's really really helped me um, to think of an idea for my channel and the fragrance we're going to talk about today is Rouge Velours by Yves Saint Laurent and here is the bottle it's a very simple clear bottle but at the same time i think it's very sleek and expensive and this fragrance is actually um, in Yves Saint Laurent private line so it's more expensive than the regular line from Yves Saint Laurent and i got myself a 75 ml bottle because considering i have quite a lot of fragrances in my collections i don't need more than 75 ml this to me works perfectly um, in my collection. Now, before I talk about this fragrance, I will give you the main accords and the notes for this fragrance as always. So the main accords of this fragrance are rose patchouli, woody, earthy, floral, warm, spicy, white floral, iris, green, and powdery. And this is a Chypre floral fragrance for women and men. This is, this was launched in 2021. I don't know who the perfumer is, um, but top notes, we have white tea, pink pepper. Middle notes, we have rose, jasmine, and iris. And base notes, we have patchouli, vetiver, and musk. All right guys, I'm gonna spray this fragrance on a blotter and let's talk about it. By the way, just a quick warning for you guys, don't spray this one on your light clothes, especially anything white because this fragrance actually leaves a red stain and i don't know if you can tell when i spray on this blotter on here it's half a little bit of the red stain it is not too bad but you know we don't want this on our any of our white clothes so yeah just be careful all right guys the quickest way to describe this fragrance is it is a rose patchouli combination and to be honest even though it is a rose patchouli fragrance it doesn't it doesn't smell like a lot of other fragrances in the same genre like rose patchouli combination um, one example of the rose patchouli fragrance is portrait of the lady from frederick mall and a lot of other fragrances when it comes to this type of dna i've i can see some resemblance to portrait of the lady but when i smell this one it took me by surprise because it doesn't smell anything like that Right away, when I first sprayed this fragrance, I can pick up that patchouli. Now, the patchouli in here is not a dirty patchouli. In fact, the combinations of the patchouli and the vetiver in here actually give this fragrance a very dark earthiness and woodiness to this fragrance. Now, the opening of this fragrance, we see that there's a tea note, a white tea note in here. Um, do I really smell that tea notes in here? I wouldn't say that it's very, very clear tea notes in the opening. To me, the tea notes added in the opening of this fragrance just to lighten up this fragrance. A lot of time when it comes to rose patchouli, the fragrance smells quite dark. And I'm not saying this doesn't smell dark. It is still dark. But thanks to the tea note in the opening of this fragrance, it's really lightened up this fragrance a notch. I would say that it's at something more 
airy to this fragrance so that the body of this fragrance is not too thick not too rich and dark now the rose in here talking about the rose in here in my mind i see a dark red rose and yes it is not a young pink flirty rose it is a very romantic dark red rose like a vampire rose <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense so the smell is very very strong the smell of this rose is very very concentrated very strong surprisingly it doesn't make this fragrance smell too mature but it just gives this fragrance a lot of sophistication um, it smell like a grown-up woman there is also iris notes in here and i really like that iris added in this fragrance i personally don't smell the jasmine in here but i i can tell there's iris added in here and that iris note added in this fragrance just give this fragrance a little bit of that powderiness it's not makeupy it's not rooty it's not buttery nothing like that but it's just add a little bit of that powderiness to this fragrance and again i feel like usually iris is a really sophisticated type of um, flower to add in a fragrance and the combinations of rose iris in here is just perfect together perfectly together to give this fragrance that beautiful sophistication all right guys to some of this fragrance this is a earthy woody powdery but truly rose fragrance and this is a dark rose fragrance because all of that you know earthy nut woodiness from the patchouli and the vetiver in here but like i said because of the tea note the tea note actually keep this fragrance at the bay from going too dark um, this is a sophisticated grown woman fragrance i honestly anyone could wear this like i always say you can wear whatever you like but i do see that this fragrance is more appealing for the woman or the man that over 30. i don't see this fragrance you know appealing to anyone that under 30 because again because of that patchouli rose combinations that make this fragrance quite mature and sophisticated and i do think that is require an acquired taste to actually appreciate this fragrance talking about versatility i would say this fragrance you can wear fall winter and spring but not summer because summer could be too much for this fragrance um, because of that patchouli vetiver woodiness in here i don't recommend this fragrance during summer but fall winter and spring i would definitely um, think that you can rock this fragrance and because this is a very sophisticated rose fragrance i don't think that it, it is an easy grab kind of fragrance i do see myself wearing this fragrance for a special event special occasions like a black type type of evening yeah i don't see myself wearing this for every day just running errand again because it is so sophisticated and i think this fragrance is not safe for a blind buy i'm just gonna throw it out there so if you still decide to fly by this fragrance do it as your own risk okay always i recommend you guys to try out fragrances before you buy but especially with this fragrance, this is not safe to blind buy at all. Talking about the longevity, the performance of this fragrance, this fragrance has a very stellar longevity, okay? It will stay on you for sure all day, eight hours easily. I wear it to work and it, it lasts on me the whole time. Um, projections, I wouldn't say that it fill a room, but people definitely smell you especially you know they are in your bubble they will definitely smell you 
but it would not be a bismol type of fragrance so don't expect that from rouge velour but yeah guys that is my full in-depth review for rouge velour from yves saint laurent um this is a beautiful fragrance and it deserves more recognition i really recommend you guys to go out and try this fragrance for yourself and see if you like this type of fragrance again this is the rose patchouli combinations but it's not the type of traditionally uh, rose patchouli fragrance to me it really took me by surprise it's i have never smelled rose patchouli fragrance like this um and because of that i really really happy i'm happy to have this fragrance in my collections do i wear it all the time no i don't because again like i said it does require uh, special occasions to wear this one i wouldn't wear this one when i have a headache because it could you know it could cause some damage all right guys that is all from my video today Please leave a comment below what you guys think about this fragrance and if you have a plan to go out and try out this fragrance, please let me know because I am very curious. Anyway guys, I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.